I'm in no way an authority on war fiction. The 20 or so war fiction books I've read have usually provided a traditional Western-centric narrative of World War I and World War II. At Night, All Blood is Black by David Diop and Fingerbone by Hiroki Takahashi diverge from my usual reading experience. And because they're so different, I wanted to share that experience with you. I'm Katya, and these two novellas struck me for how well they dismantle the glamorization of war and how they describe the deeply disturbing effects of conflict through narratives or a lens that is less commonly explored through English language war literature. At Night All Blood is Black, translated from the French, presents a haunting journey into the psyche of a Senegalese soldier fighting for France during World War I, offering a rare glimpse into the experiences of colonial troops drawn into European conflicts. In contrast, Fingerbone, translated from Japanese, transports us to World War II and the Pacific, where a young Japanese soldier confronts the harrowing realities of fighting for an ambitious Japanese empire with expansionist designs. Let's start with Fingerbone from Hiroki Takahashi and brought to English readers by Hondford Press. This stunning story spans just 128 pages. The novella unfolds with the experiences of a young soldier and his relentless fight for survival during World War II. Takahashi sets the story against the backdrop of the Japanese Empire's ambitious expansion, highlighting not only the strategic importance of the Pacific region, but also the profound impact of global conflict on the local population of Papua New Guinea. I've got a sore throat, so I may pause now and then. Our young soldier shows us moments of human connection amidst the chaos of war, detailing encounters between the Japanese soldiers and both allied forces, primarily Australian and American, and local villagers. Most of his unit is made up of young men. I think at one point, the oldest among them is just 24, a medical doctor. And for me, that really spoke about a lost youth collectively of these young men. And they're battling not just enemy troops, but the merciless elements of harsh terrain, disease and scarcity of supply. The endurance and spirit are tested beyond the confrontation of the battlefield. The narrative is delivered in a straightforward, matter-of-fact tone, and it's barely noticeable at first, but when he continues, the narrator continues in this vein of straightforwardness while witnessing the horrors around him and his everyday world is transformed into a nightmarish landscape. It hits you on an emotional level. It's a stylistic choice that heightens the sense of surrealism as everyday horrors escalate to a stomach-churning conclusion. The title Fingerbone refers to the grim practice of severing a finger from a fallen soldier to send back to his family, highlighting the novel's exploration of personal cost and sacrifices of war. If you ventured into Takahashi's vividly bleak portrayal of war, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. It's a really powerful story. I think I've only seen Willow talk about it so far on Booktube. Next, we have At Night All Blood is Black, which is about the First World War and was published in 2021 by Pushkin Press. Translated from the French, it's a short read of 160 pages, but it feels much, much heavier. Haunting, beautiful, Diop's writing is lyrical, but as it delves into the depths of a soldier's psyche during World War I, it presents us with a memorable and tragic tale. Set against the grim backdrop of the Western Front, we find Alpha, a Senegalese soldier fighting for the French army alongside his best friend. Until I read this book, I was actually unaware that Senegalese soldiers were brought to Europe to fight for France against Germany. But it turns out that of the 200,000 Senegalese soldiers who fought under the French flag, roughly 135,000 fought in Europe. Through Alpha's eyes, we travel into the scariest corridors of the human mind. His descent into madness, driven by grief, vengeance, and the incomprehensible realities of war, challenges readers to confront the fine line between sanity and insanity, between humanity and the monstrous transformations wrought by conflict. Diop's masterful use of language and structure, the narrative's repetitive lyrical quality, 
Where is the cyclical nature of Alpha's thoughts and the relentless monotony of trench warfare? It makes an emotional story that much more hard hitting and gives it a fever dream like quality where the horrors of war blend with personal trauma. This novel won the International Booker Prize, an unflinching portrayal of the psychological impact of war and the exploration of complex human emotions. The novel's title is a metaphor for the universal experience of loss and the futility of war, where all distinctions of nationality, friend and foe, life and death, sanity and insanity are just erased, and humanity shares in the suffering of unimaginable horrors. It really challenges us to rethink the sanitized narratives of history and highlights often overlooked sacrifices of colonial soldiers. This exploration of identity, belonging, and the impact of colonialism adds a critical dimension to the narrative, making it a significant contribution to the discourse on war, memory, and colonial history. I think it's a must read for anyone interested in the profound effects of war on the human spirit. Both at night, all blood is black and fingerbone profoundly illuminate the personal and psychological toll of war. They use very, very different narrative styles to do this <coughs> with the following a man whose mind has been unraveling under the strain of combat or one who seeks refuge in the recesses of his psyche amidst the chaos both books masterfully transform the battlefield into a realm of surrealism i found myself so so grateful not to have experienced or witnessed firsthand the events described in these books I know for some, these books will feel too triggering to read, but if you're drawn to war fiction, I think you'll find a lot to value in both these books. Thank you so much for tuning in and take care. Bye.